Faye, um... Yes? You and I have a lot in common. Um, yes? Uh, you're a man... I, oh, I'm a man and you're a woman. <laughs> yes, that's true. And uh, you like the lighthouse and I like the lighthouse. Yes. And, um, well, we've, um, <clears throat> we've been through a lot together. Yes. Haven't we? We have. <clears throat> and, uh, well, um... <clears throat> well... More champagne? <laughs> no. no. Ah, just love that classical music. It's it's so musical. <laughs> Game trick out. Oh, dribble. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I've been uh, trying to get the twist out of this lighthouse all year. It hasn't been easy either. But at last you succeeded, dear. Oh, the Gribble Henderson Amusement Park will be your monument. <laughs> she means a Henderson Gribble Amusement Park, don't you, dear? <laughs> well, you must know how I feel about you. Um, liking art as I do. Were you going to ask me something? I was. Um, come on, come on. Well... You're a man and I'm... <laughs> um, look, this is crazy. I'll, I'll just come out with it, all right? Faye? Yes! Will you... Will you... Ah, Tony, mind if we come in? Uh, hi, Harold. Right this way, Mr Henderson. Sorry about this. I do. I mean, yes, you do. This is Mr. Henderson of Henderson International Projects. He's developing the entire shipwreck coast. Henderson's bringing order to the wild. No, I've told you before, Harold, when we're not selling. Yes, well, it's been taken out of your hands, I'm afraid, Tony. Well, I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen to reason. And now it's too late. We own the lighthouse, Harold. You can't move us out. So there was a loophole in your contract. Council has approved a compulsory acquisition order on the lighthouse. Now you have to get out. What? You have to get out tomorrow. You never give up, do you? Well, they won't get out of it this time. You can't bluff us. We'll we'll see our solicitor. Who's playing that music? It's the ghosts. One night they nick my muesli bar. They'll get anyone who moves in here. Ghosts! <laughs> nice try, boy. Nah. Just a coin. Come on. I'll show you.
Brunson. How do you know my name? Oh. I often watch you. <laughs> You're funny. You eat all the time. Did you nick my muesli bar? No. Go sit on spiritual food. What's that? It's called breeze on your cheek, the kiss of the morning dew, the smile of a daffodil in spring. I've never had any ghost food. It's going to be a water slide from the top of the lighthouse right down to the beach. But look, Harold, you're the mayor of Port Miranda. You set this up. Look, you'll get a fair price. Where do you fit in? Mr Henderson is the official backer of the amusement park. Oh, a terrible, horrible apparition, Harold! Ghosts! <laughs> and you think we're crazy? Ghosts are a figment of a warped imagination, darling. Now, I've heard you say that many, many times. <laughs> you know, that's right, I did. I'm sure I saw a tiny little ghost. Girl. Which ghost? What are you doing here? I live here. Yeah? Yes. But I'm not supposed to let you see me. Don't tell anyone, please. Well... Please, I'll get into terrible trouble. Promise. Well, OK, but no more spying on me. We can hide. Where is it? Oh, Mum said there's a ghost. A horrible apparition. There's no one here but me. Yeah, and after tomorrow, you won't even be here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, mate. That'll stop them. They couldn't throw us out, could they? You'll soon know. It's no good. The solicitor says there's nothing we can do. This will be the Gribble Whale World Amusement Park. Oh. You can't stop progress, Tone. Ah, this will bring jobs to the town. Hamburger joints, pizza parlours. It'll develop the full tourist potential yeah, of the place. Yeah, what about my kids? Throwing them out of their home. Ah, I might be able to help you out there. I think I've got just the place. Lovely little location, and it's very, very cheap. Look, Tone, don't think I haven't got sympathy for you. I've got a son, a very sensitive lad. I get lost. Don't come crawling to me. I wouldn't help you if I could. No way, and after you all get chucked out, you can go back to the big smoke where you belong. <laughs> Told you they wouldn't listen. I don't know who plays the music up there. How come you pretend not to hear it? There's ghosts up there, isn't there? Oh, I wouldn't know. <sighs> now our backs are against the wall. If we lose the lighthouse, we all lose the lighthouse. You have to help us. You know who they are, don't you? It's my father, my mother, my brother Tom, and my little sister Sarah. What happened to them? Well, Mum and Dad and Sarah went down to the Lady Bay disaster. Tom and I were away at the time. Will they help us speak to developers? Yeah, scare them off! Well, I've been trying to contact them for years, but the living and the dead don't mix. Never did get a chance to say goodbye. They can't get us out if we bolt the door. Yeah, but they can starve us out. This could be our last night in the lighthouse. place for you. Okay, Jesse. Hi. You said you wouldn't spy on me. Did you bring any ghost food? No, this is an emergency. I shouldn't even be here. I was listening to Mr Henderson. He plans to demolish the lighthouse. Your home and ours. You must help me, Bronson. You have to help us. We can't do anything. There's nothing we can do. It's up to you. I'll have to tell Dad about you ghosts. No, you mustn't. You promised. Oh, I have to go now. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Our last meal in the lighthouse. Door's open. Oh. I knew I could smell something. Ah, it's a lovely day for it. 
<laughs> Mr. Henderson's men will be here soon to help you move your stuff out. We're not going, Harold. Now, Tony, I hope we're not going to have any trouble with this. Because nobody will support you. Bronson, you did see it. Her, didn't you? I did see a spectre, didn't I? Yes, dear. Come on, it's all just part of your imagination. The locals will support us. The locals will do what I tell them. All they care about is the lighthouse. They don't care about who lives here. They certainly don't care about the twists. That man Henderson's going to knock it down. Who says? I can't tell you. I promised. But he is. Now, Bronson, if you know something you have to say, who told you that? If a ghost told you to keep a secret, what would you do? Bronson? Was it my father? No. My mother? No. Was it my little sister, Sarah? My lips are sealed. It was the ghost of my little sister. I knew you'd seen something. I told you! It's all just part of their tricks. Now come along. Maybe the ghost can help us save the lighthouse. No, they won't come out. The only thing they like in this world is... is music. And muesli bars. They like music, right? Let's see if we can win them over with a bit of our own. I thought you said they were Scots. That's the trouble. They know a good bagpipe when they hear one. Let us try something. Strange things happen to this family, it seems. This it only ever happened in dreams. Tony! Bronson. Century. You're too young. You wouldn't know any of the music they like. And when ye come and all the flowers are dying, if I am This is indeed an historic event for Port Naranda. It's just a pity that there's a few wacko pinko greenies who are trying to keep the lighthouse for themselves instead of sharing it with the wider community. The Gribble Henderson Whale World Amusement Park will focus the attention. Hey, Dad! Okay. Not now, boy, I'm on the television. No, but this is serious. Sit down, 
I'm going. What are you doing? We're going to demolish the lighthouse, you cretin. But you can't do that. The tourists want the lighthouse. I don't. It's in the way. But I gave my word. I mean, my name will be Mud. <laughs> really? But there's people in there. And ghosts. Ghosts. You should have that woman put down. Whack him, Dad. Now look, you can't talk to my wife like that. She's got five diplomas. And if she says there's ghosts, then there's ghosts. Tony, let us in. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. How can we trust you, Harold? Well, look, I'll prove it. This is the acquisition order. <sighs> Come on. Quickly. I'm with you, Tony. I'm with you all the way. And don't get me wrong, I'm not turning into one of those greeny pinkos, but nobody, nobody makes a monkey out of Harold J. Gribble. These hip blokes are bursting. Everyone's scattered everywhere. They've taken Mr. and Mrs. Gribble. Oh, now Mr. Twist and I'm going to marry this woman. Final checks. What are we going to do, Dad? We could try the music again. Might bring them out. Music? Ghost like music. Go on, do it. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from Glen to Glen. No. Music. Raise your voices for freedom and democracy. Support the twist right to be crazy. Come on, everyone, sing up now. Wait till they hear my music. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Three, two, one. A ghost carrying it. No such thing. Do something. Get rid of it. for a minute there. Look, it's the spectacles. Yes. And we've 
both been through a lot together. Yes. Would you, would, could, could I have some of that ghost food? Sure you can. You all can. Meet me on the cliffs just before sunrise. Okay, great. What are we doing here? Oh, hey, hey, maybe the ghost put it on a barbie, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It always is. Hope she comes. She said to meet her here. I wonder if she'd like an agent. Oh, we will be able to see her, won't we? She'll be here. I don't know. Oh. Tony. Yes? You were asking me something yesterday. Yes. You're a man and I'm a woman. Yes. You like the lighthouse and I like the lighthouse. Yes. I've got something to ask you. Will you... It's her. I knew I wasn't crazy. I thought you weren't coming. Did you bring any ghost food? Yes. Great. I'm starving. Where is it? Right there. Faye. Yes? Will you marry me? Isn't that a beautiful sunrise? Yes. Is that all? Well, no. She's about to show him a thing or two. Tiger. Yeah? Shut up! So what's ghost food like, Bronson? Vanilla ice cream. Only better. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Have you ever, ever felt like this? How strange things happen. Are you going round the twist? If all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put me 